Guys, for a second, I legitimately lost OBS. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Okay, let's see here. Where's, a, where's my audio setting? There we go. Okay, uh, that, oh yeah, this is a test pattern. I forgot to get off the test pattern. You guys like test patterns? Crap, I don't want that color palette. <laughs> I could, but I'm not going to. There, I wish there was a way to change it mid-game. That would be lovely. I'll have to, you know, tell Nintendo to make that tweak to uh, <laughs> the Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color, you know, they definitely still make those. I'm scooting forward. I'm getting closer. It's me, Wario. Okay, now it's the hole. That's my favorite world, the hole. Oh, okay. We're already off to... An astounding start. Getting chased by lava. Oh, I didn't see that coin come out. Well, I did see it, but not until it was much too late. Oh, I want that. I want that. Crud. Crud. Buckets of crud. Uh, no. But I still got my key. This pattern is designed specifically to waste your time. But I've made it. Ah, uh, yes. That. <laughs> that thing. It's big and valuable. Door's already open, already pre opened for our convenience. Yeah. Yeah. Two fifty six. Good number. That's one above the bite limit. So just know that the game is struggling to pr produce this amount of coins. Okay, so this is the lava world. I guess. Pretty unusual for it to come this early in the game, but... Hello, Milo. But hey, Lava World's like... World 3. World 4 if you count the ice... The ice cube world. I don't... I don't know what that counts as. 
wor world, yes. Look, man, 3D World came up with World Bowser, so I, I don't care anymore. Like, like, how am I supposed to say that, Nintendo? That's, that's not... That's a symbol! It's a symbol of Bowser's great authority. These platforms don't even wait till I'm on them to start falling. Yeah, I would rather have the bull. I'm not crazy about the dragon power-up, I'll be real with you. Crap, my, my monitor is just ever so slightly blocked by my other monitor. Alright, the walls are shifting. Alright, gamble. Crud. Ten, ten tons. Wow, Wario can really take a wallop. Crud. After my large victory, we must have a large failure. Is it bad? I was kind of hoping that it would be the wait a third time in the row. In in the row. Would have been fun. You lose. Okay, the bridge. The wall. Now this is the real wall. Goodbye. That guy just goes sliding like eight miles. Yeah, good luck getting any coins. Unless you do that. Okay, that's solid, just so you know. Can't walk through that. It's not, like, abundantly clear, but... Nah. I will avoid checkpoints wherever possible. <laughs> the, <laughs> the questionability of that idea is immediately brought into question. Question, question. Meh, meh. Yes, practical ladder setup. Am I really about to risk my life for coins? Well, of course I am. Thank you. Ugh. No, please don't. Don't touch. No touchy. The door graphic doesn't stay quite aligned with the background. The sprites are on a very slightly different plane of existence. You see, it's funny because my hat looks like a plane. Crud. Crud and poop.
Okay, so we got the the two the two headed exit level. What? <laughs> and we got the train, the mine, whatever this is. No, no, no! Top ten failures. Science still cannot explain. The sprite is ever so slightly cut off at the bottom, which is kind of, you know, kind of bothers me a little bit. Uh. Luckily, you can stand on the minecart tracks just fine, unlike in Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's the bounce, that's the bounce floor. Is there something on the other side? No. Checkpoint? Is that what this is? Yeah. It's probably to make make it look like it's partially uh, covered by the tracks, but I don't think the illusion works. I don't. I don't think the system works. I, I stuck to something. I'm sure that looks less bad on the actual system. Oh, I'm sure it does too. Mostly because uh, you can't actually see anything on the actual system. Can I respawn that? Ugh. Can that come back? No, no, it can't. That's probably how you get the secret exit. Yeah, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The original Game Boy screen just looks dreadful. Maybe it's gotten worse with age. Like, maybe the parts aren't quite what they used to be. Kind of like the Game Gear. But hoo boy, it is hard to see anything on that. If you, if you value your sanity, just play it on a Game Boy Pocket. I played through a lot of Mickey Mouse Magic Wands on a regular Game Boy, and it was almost okay. <laughs> but would you do it now? Nope, lol. And that's what I'm saying. Of course, now we have we have many ways to enjoy classic Game Boy titles as I am showcasing by playing this on a on a sixth generation machine with a Super Nintendo controller. Okay, that was a little weird. This would probably be way easier with the the, the, the plain helmet. Okay, the roar should be right here. No, no, it's not right here. I remember now. It's over here. Oh, okay. That interaction did not take place as I thought it would.
baguette and lava resulted in one up. Does that does that give me hearts? I suppose we can find out. Let's let's find out right now. Yes, it does. I don't know why. Maybe because it just recycles enemy code or something. Either way, I'll take it. I mean, I don't have a choice but to take it. Alright, hey, guys, check this out. Okay, let's just try uh, jumping. Okay, there we go. That worked out. I mean, I can't get moving platforms working right either. You guys know that. I can't. I can't dunk on Nintendo too much. 90s era Nintendo. All right, 12 coins. Can we turn this into anything? Yes, we can turn it into 12 coins. Hidge. Clemino. Okay, there we go. Secret level. The, the bonus. The bonus level. And as usual, it is for a treasure. So we will find the key and we will return here. Oh, he didn't go in the lava. I want I wanted him to, to go in the lava. Okay, Wario cannot crawl in the water, so your mission. Remove water. Okay, Wario cannot jump high enough. Your mission, add water. Alright, water has been toggled. I have used the water magic. I've already found the key. I could very well leave, but I'm not going to do it. Well, actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it because I just remembered that doesn't end the level. Yeah, how about that shot? I wish that worked in real life. Just throw the key at the door. <laughs> H for Hoblet. I would like to congratulate Wario on successfully pirating Super Mario Land 2. <laughs> What's over here? Ah yes, the big coin! I love the big coin. Ah, uh, 
uh, you're supposed to make the water come back, but I didn't. Again, you're supposed to toggle the water and waste all of the time in the universe, but how about instead we just don't? How about instead I, I deny that possibility? Okay, here I might have to. I don't know. We'll have to. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if I am epic. Okay, let's see. Am I epic? Let's find out. Oh yeah, the epicest. Secret door. That's the end of the stage. Let me make sure there's nothing off to the right. That's just the water toggle. Okay. We've done what there is to do. Ah, oh, crud. Crud. I wanted to- I want, Oh no! My coin got eaten! Because I was trying to show off. Don't you hate it when that happens? Now to gamble everything away. Decent profit. Not maximum profit. Could have gotten about 500 coins here. But, you know. Yeah, it'll work. Yeah, it, I'm probably not going to max... I have never maxed out the coin counter before I've beaten the game. That's probably going to take some grinding. Okay, boss. Time for boss. My garlic. No. Oh no, the worst power up. I do not enjoy to use it. Does not give me coin. No. No. Oh, am I some kind of wimp, baby? made a predicament for myself. Oh, I have made a predic- Level 
Let's try again. No. If I can ever help it, no. I'd prefer not. I think the dragon hat comes back... Comes back in Virtual Boy Wario Land, and I think it's a lot better in that game. But I will not tell you why. You will just have to wait and see. Virtual Boy Direct Feed. You know, there is actually a way to accomplish that, but... I mean, I don't know. I don't deem it worth the time and the effort for what will probably be one, maybe two streams worth of content. I'll probably just emulate. <laughs> but yeah, it's called the Virtual Tap. But yeah, like I said, you gotta, you gotta pay money. Which, you know, that's that's the first problem right there. Then at that point, you got two options. You can either... Uh, uh, you can either get it installed coming out... <laughs> Your face cam would be pretty, pretty silly. Yeah, I, could, I could output it on the TV. Though it would be funnier if I was looking in the Virtual Boy. <laughs> I, I think that would be pretty funny. Yeah, uh, if you get the mod done, you can output the Virtual Boy video to a TV or a monitor. But like I said, here's here's the second problem. Well, the second problem is there's this guy. But third problem is that you... Oh, no. Okay, so this is like a... This is a, you know... Spring Yard boss. Up. Oh. <laughs> anyway, third problem is that you got two options here. You can either have it come out of the eye, the eyepiece, which unfortunately would render it unusable as a regular Virtual Boy, or you could uh, cut into the case to create a separate opening. Which, granted, understandably, I think most people don't want to do to a console as rare as that. I do gotta get my Virtual Boy fixed, though. Like, the left eyepiece connection has come loose, and it kind of makes it obnoxious to play because the left eye often gets garbled graphics. I need to, I need to get that fixed, but... I'm sure you can understand why why that's not been at the top of my list. I don't think I've ever turned mine on in the last five years. Ah, oh, a fellow Virtual Boy owner. Been the shoebox that whole time. Uh, you mine's mine's over there. I don't know if you could uh, you can't you can't see it on my webcam, but it's right it's right over there on a shelf. I just like to look at it. Makes me feel good. <laughs> That's what it came in. <laughs> I mean, I, I could poke fun, but I mean, technically mine didn't even have a box. God, I wish, I wish I was like super into collecting earlier because there was a point where you probably could have gotten a Virtual Boy for 20 bucks. I had to pay like upwards of a hundred dollars for mine. But then there's, there's also points where you could have gotten like, you know, the 32X for really cheap, Sega CD, that kind of thing. I guess hindsight's 2020. I'm not doing good here. I'm not doing good at this level. Yours was 60 pounds. That would uh, that would be about maybe 70, 80 bucks here, I think. That's not too bad. 
Oh, definitely a little pricier than they went for at a point, but that's a that's not a bad deal to get one for. But what can I say? It was like the only Nintendo console that I didn't have. And I was like, I, I have to complete I have to complete the collection. Though you could argue I don't have like say er every variant of the Game Boy. But let's just say I have I have every unique Nintendo console. That that much I can say and not and not be too full of it. Though I probably will get some variants at some point, some more. I have uh, the original Dot Matrix Game Boy. I have uh, I think two Game Boy colors. Um, don't have a pocket or a light, though. Do not have that. So, if I'm not mistaken, I think the light was Japan exclusive. I, I forgot. I like how they put a light in one of the Game Boys and then afterwards they're just like, eh, let's, let's not bring that back. Let's, let's just, let's leave that out. Okay. So, we gotta do something with these, like, giant snot rockets. Oh yeah, I still gotta get, I still gotta get a Game Boy Micro. So wait, wait. Am I supposed to let that hit me? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay, well... It's, uh, weirdly specific. I'm probably gonna die again. So only, only the second bounce, only after the bounce are you allowed to pick it up. Okay, and then, and then so, after a while they just don't even have any space to bounce anymore. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm not I'm in a pickle. Oh well, that worked. Uh, this doesn't though. Eh, whatever. Either way, uh, Starlight Zone boss. No, no, Spring Yard Zone boss defeated. Starlight's the... Starlight's like the, you know, the little flippers. Okay, it's it's 444. I have to, I have to take the money and run. That's a magical number. We're gonna break 4,000. Oh, yeah. Okay, another world down. The SS Teacup. The Pirate Lair. No, 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 redo, do over. The money, the money pooping bird is here. I must take full advantage. Don't, don't, no, don't poop the money in there. Can't get it down there. No! That doesn't happen! Doesn't normally happen. Give me the money. 
Oh lord, look at that mo look at that profit. Look at that profit. Okay, yeah, that was definitely suspicious. All already broken. Yeah, very suspicious. It's a big fruit. Okay, where's the door? There it is. I got to get to the door. <laughs> Oh, they're, they're, they're gonna make you work for this one. Who boy. journey. <laughs> At least you don't have to go into a menu and toggle the iron boots. Yes, the Simtar. I for Ishtar. Okay, so the fruit doesn't like directly hurt you. Okay, now back to the actual game. The return of the king. Oh, the fly! Oh, the gator. Pitfall. I don't know how to get him. You probably need the fire breath or something. Now we must wait three hours for it to count down. This ain't Sonic. You can't just press a button to skip it. War Wario makes you stand there and revel in every cent.
Oh, the good music. It's back. Eh. I could go over there and get that, but, uh, no. The harpoon, the harpoon man, having lost his harpoon, must now leave. No, I kind of, I kind of like my airplane hat. I would like to keep it. Mm, bull, bull is tempting, but nah. I let that coin drop down there. I have failed. Like I have failed. Yeah, I was never able to figure out what half the things, half the items are supposed to be. It don't matter. We don't care. Oh, you gotta use the bull hat, or not. Yes! Yes! Money. Yeah, alright. Yeah, that's how you get them. That's how you get the flies. Are they worth like a lot of hearts or something? Otherwise, I don't get it. Mm, does not seem to be. Seems to be a perfectly normal amount of hearts. I just wanted to hear the noise. Got thinking about the noise. Ooh! Oh! Ah! Power! Sudden power! We had to go back. We had to go back to Rice Beach. Money. 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 Oh, yes, I am rich. This is the profit peer. Like that one Fortnite area. Pardon me. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. 
is almost time to board the pirate ship. <laughs> okay. Throw him right into my fire breath. Or I guess my hat's fire breath. Technically, Wario is breathing nothing. Not even air. Wario is an animated corpse. <laughs> oh hey, I picked him back up. Is that a trap? Was I not supposed to do that? I have a feeling I was not supposed to do that. Okay, now that we have the hat, we must go back and investigate. There could be things. Also, I like that the enemies just stay dead. But, hang on. I'm... This is fishy. I'm smelling some fish. I guess it's nothing. I guess it's literally nothing. Don't uncollected items stay there too. Yep. Game Boy apparently has much more storage than we gave it credit for. And even the platforms stay down. What the heck, man? Do not harpoon, please. I'm having some pretty decent luck here. Doesn't stop hacking. No. <laughs> I would have to get 999 125 times to max it out. Yeah, needless to say, grinding is probably a must. I don't, I don't know if it's even worth it. <laughs> okay, on the pirate ship. Wario does not care about- Oh, he has an inner tube. That's adorable. I love- I love it when <laughs> animals have inner tubes and they by no means need them at all. That's the best thing. Oh no, I mean if you finish the level with at least 125 coins and you get three money bags. Oh, okay. So... Oh, okay, I misread that then. Yes, I have embedded this man in the wall. P 
pirate crates. I think these belong to Dr. Wily. I mean, actually, 500 times 2 is 1,000. I don't know what kind of Wario math is going on. I don't know what kind of school this guy went to. Wario math. Numbers have to stop somewhere, Wario. <laughs> Going in that door was a mistake. holding up to jump. Because that makes you go fast. Big pirate ship. <laughs> I mean, whatever gets the job done. I know there's a key around here somewhere, and they're gonna make me walk back through the whole pirate ship to deliver it. I'm gonna be playing Death Stranding Wario Edition. Or maybe it's more like Wario Land Norman Reedus Edition. Maybe it's the other way around. Okay, it's in here. That's that's a bit of a tricky maneuver, but it's it's doable. Now, as previously stated, to walk back 300 years. I I don't think you can walk backwards through time. I don't know. Maybe Doc Brown would have something to say about that. What decides when the key bounces? Oh, is that an axe? I don't know about that one. J for Jason. Perhaps the height the key falls from. Possible. Possible.
I joined and I thought you were going to call me out by my real name. No. Oh, oh. I gotta go fast. Gotta greed fast. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, you said J for Jason? No, I, I mean like, you know, Jason the, the serial killer, you know, from Friday the 13th. Unless there's something you want to tell us. Okay, boss time. Pretty straightforward, this one. I wish DD didn't take two hits. Essentially, at least. No, 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 no. No. Wait, did I come out? Did I come out over here? Uh, I'm gay. I mean, I did now. Okay, there we go. This is just the best power-up in the game, I'm sorry. It just is. No other power-up comes close. Like, why would I want that? Why would I want that thing? You know what, I'm, I am going to take the checkpoint this time. Because I remember this being a little bit of a process, comparatively speaking. Okay, so now we're on the hull. At least I think that's what you'd call that. Arr. Ahoy, Mario! I've made, I've made a game development company, and the games are six seconds long. <laughs> you ever think about that with WarioWare? That Wario is just canonically selling these people five second long games? Like you, you think you think games like this are short? <laughs> Not even like a game and watch. It's just over. I don't want that. Give me the fulminated mercury. Okay, where's the door? Where's the door that this key goes to? It's one of the rare instances where I have seen the key, but not the door. It might be within that door up there. There's a secret door. No. Alright, let's see. Is it in here? Well, now we are inside this part of the ship. I don't... I don't know what you would call this part. Is the treasure door a different kind of key? 
Oh. Well, uh, this is unfortunate. There was a treasure door on the bottom floor. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Well, we'll come back. I mean, look, I'm a streamer. I have become a streamer, and one thing you have to do, a streamer rite of passage, is you have to ignore something glaringly obvious. No! I don't have the money! Err, me, me millionth dime. No way, that's, that's two different episodes. Kind of mixed together. Ahoy, Spongebob. I've been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Ahoy, Spongebob. I've been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I'm, I'm not gonna risk it. Oh wait, I forgot we can't go back yet. Because we're trapped, we're trapped up here. So we'll have to wait a minute before we go back for that. I remember somebody crunching the numbers and determining that uh, Mr. Cra Mr. Krabs fought in like Vietnam or something. <laughs> which is which is up there with uh, SpongeBob canonically takes place at a nuclear test site. It rivals that in terms of sheer absurdity. And Squidward is not a squid. He is actually an octopus. Kind of afraid here. And in addition, Mr. Krabs is not actually a crab. He is actually Cthulhu. See, it would probably make more sense for Squid for me to say that about Squidward. But see, that's that's just it though. You'd be expecting that. And I would never do something so expected. Look, I, I have an idea, actually. Don't dump the bucket on your head. I guess that's what the game thinks of my idea. Too bad I hear the new movie isn't that great. Yeah, I've heard similarly. 
It's just kind of a steady decline. You got the original Spongebob movie, which is hilarious. Then you got the second one, which is, you know, pretty good. It's not, like, great, but it's, you know, I, I chuckled a few times at it. And then you got the third movie, which is just nothing. Oh, we get to ride the cutoff platform more times. All my homies hate Camp Coral. Nah, Miles, uh, you watch Sponge Out of Water. Uh, I don't think, um, I don't think Sponge on the Run has come out in the U.S. yet. For some reason. I think, uh, Europe has gotten that before us. <laughs> but given what I heard, I don't feel like I'm missing out that much. From what I've seen, it really just d feels like a vehicle, like a backdoor pilot for Camp Coral. There we go. But we pressed the big button, the big box. And now we have drained the swamp. And now we can go back. Speaking of which, I heard the new one was originally going to be out Spongebob and the gang fighting cats from space. I, I don't know if that I would have preferred that. That would have been a more interesting plot, but like, that also sounds incredibly stupid. And I mean, I know it's Spongebob Squarepants, but there's a line, <laughs> there's a line that has to be drawn somewhere. Like, come on, Nickelodeon. I could give you, like... I could give you, like, ten better plots. Just, just come on. Come on, hire me. I, I'll, I'll write for Spongebob, I'll do it. <laughs> Imagine if that worked, I just walk up... I just walk up to Viacom, I'm like... Oh, yeah, I'm writing for Spongebob now. <laughs> okay, write an episode right now. Okay, um, Spongebob... Uh, let's see. Let's, we gotta think of. We gotta think of a good plot. That's the main thing. We gotta think of a plot first. Like, what? What would be a good plot? It's like SpongeBob. Uh, see, because the problem is I'm having to go through every episode that they've already made and <laughs> try to make sure I don't duplicate a plot. Think of something that hasn't been done yet. SpongeBob gets abducted by aliens. Except he wakes up, and he's convinced... He's convinced that it's real. But nobody believes him. And then it turns out at the end that it wasn't real. That's, that's my plot. That's the first plot I was able to come up with. Just when put on the spot. Uh, Spongebob has to... Spongebob has to write a paper on the history of Bikini Bottom, and then he realizes that all of the stories are contradictory, and nobody knows how this town actually got founded.
I need to write an episode with something really gross out. Uh, are we- are- I thought we were past that point. Like, are they still doing that? Okay. Where is it? I need to find- there it is. Yeah, you guys are right. Can I- can I have that key back, please? Thank you. Okay, okay, here's my gross out after- FOOTBALL! Like, what if I, uh, what if I, like, made a game about the room, ha <laughs> Okay, so here's, here's my gross out plot. Yeah, Ink Lemonade. I, I watched a Mr. Enter video about that one. I never actually saw the episode. Probably one of the worst episodes in the entire series. For me, the two worst... The two worst episodes that I've seen... I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with the game. Uh, the two worst episodes I've seen... Are, uh... One course meal, you know, where Mr. Krabs gets plankton to try to kill himself, you know, for the kitties. And, uh, Plankton's regular, which both kind of have the, which both kind of have the Plankton torture plot. Also, you notice that the tide has come in here. So we can go back to this level if you're wondering why I'm doing that. And now the, the level is flooded. Tide has come in. Also, you know that was the, there was that one episode called uh, you know Squidward Suicide. That one was pretty weird. I, I don't know why they would have aired that. So yeah, Wario Land kind of has the Mega Man X thing going on. Where sometimes things will just happen to old levels. Or like, you know, you tackle the levels in a specific order. Or, no, you can't do that, but you go back. Mega Man, you can do that. Wario Land, it, it's pretty much one order. They made a reference to that creepypasta in a fairly recent episode and then took it down months after. <laughs> nah, come on guys, have some balls. <laughs> but but really though, that's wild that they did that. Like it it kind of didn't have any real context though. Like they're like the episode's even called SpongeBob and Squidward in Random Land or something. Oh, I found out that in a lot of, in the UK, a lot of episodes get censored. Yeah, like, there there was one episode where Spongebob and Squidward fuse, like, they fuse with everybody at the end, and it's grotesque looking. I think that one even got censored in the US. And frankly, I, I don't know why they, I don't know why they thought that was a good idea in the first place. Like, oh yeah. What a, you know, I watch Spongebob Squarepants, what a, what do I like in my Spongebob cartoons? Oh, that's right, body horror. Also, this is a weird topic to bring up during Wario Land, but I, I blame myself. Oh well, it, you know, it's a topic. Topic's a topic. I also wasn't a huge fan of the episode that, uh, episode where Spongebob copies Squidward's house. Because, again, wasn't there a treasure that you could get in this level, though? I feel like I remember there being a treasure. Yeah, because it's, it's basically, like, 11 minutes of psychological horror. 
in a SpongeBob cartoon. Like, in general, they just kind of made SpongeBob into like a weird stalker in some of the later seasons. And it's very uncomfortable. I don't know, I could probably go on a... I could go on a whole tangent about like really bad Spongebob episodes, like... You guys know, you guys know that I, I grew up watching that cartoon and I have strangely strong opinions about it. But like really, I, I remember there being, I remember there being like a treasure. Maybe it's in a different level and I'm just not remembering right. I don't I don't know. Can I can I leave? I I cannot leave the level. Treasure. If it would have been canceled a decade ago, then it would have gotten a reboot. Yeah, that's the sad truth of it, but... I mean, honestly, we, we got some pretty good things later. Like, there there are some, you know, pretty good episodes that came out after the movie, but I don't think the world would have been at a huge loss if it had gotten canceled. Or, and not even canceled, just ended when Hillenburg intended it to. I mean, but like, there are a few good episodes that I like. Like, okay. The episode House Fancy is pretty infamous for the toenail scene. But it, did I just... There's water there. <laughs> but it's pretty infamous for the toenail scene, but I will concede the rest of the episode is kind of funny. <laughs> Like just the running, the running gag about the gilded doorknobs is actually is actually really funny to me. I, I will admit. And uh, have you seen this snail? Is honestly pretty good. Plus, you get the the really you get the really catchy Gary Come Home song. Which is one of the best things that post-movie Spongebob has given. No, you know what? It's probably this level because it's intersecting with the tide here. Yeah. Gary, come on. Yeah, there it is. It's just, it's just crazy that most of the voice actors from the beginning of the show's production are still voicing the characters currently. Yeah, that is that is pretty nuts. Like I, <clears throat> I've heard The Simpsons has been in danger of losing a lot of voice actors. Oh, okay, the key's just right here. Okay. I, I will say, best thing that, like, <laughs> like, I don't know, it's weird, the show has, like, several eras. I, I'd say, like, post-sequel Spongebob. The thing I like the most about it is that they kind of made Bubble Bass a recurring character again. And I, I honestly kind of like that. There's a lot of potential with Bubble Bass that I think they just kind of threw away in the early seasons. Like, he would have made a good uh, rival character to Spongebob, I think. And I'm, I'm glad that... I'm glad that they're using him. Anyway, this is Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land. You know, it's a game about Wario. 
he's in a land. He gets hit by uh, hermit crab things. Ooh. Thank you. Yeah, I always thought it was weird that a lot of elements from the movie got abandoned after. <laughs> but I, I heard there was some kind of weird copyright situation. Yeah, so that's how you're... That's how you're supposed to get up here. Okay, so I'm going to take a brief interlude. Uh, King Neptune from the movie is not the same one from the show. Like, uh, like in the first movie? That's always been weird. But anyway, I'm gonna take a brief interlude here. I'll be right back.
Okay, Wario is back. That was Act 1? Okay. I'll have to correct that for the future. I mean, technically correct. The PC, the PC and the Saturn share a soundtrack. Oh, train. Train. I have been training for this day. I love this song. Just so, it's just so fun and bouncy. I meant to throw those two into each other. Let's go. Ah uh, yes, bouncing the camera. I am truly convinced I am on a train. Oh, auto scroll. Have we gotten one of those before in this game? Ah, yes, give me the good power up. some uh, mango apple juice it's good good gives you the good vibes oh. I've been re-watching uh, old angry video game nerd episodes good good stuff good good video little too much pooping on things. Which, you know, we don't need that part. But otherwise, very good. We'll never not laugh at, at B-17 Bomber. Oh, hey, and we got like a parallax in the background. Yeah, fun fact. The Game Boy can do that because you see there's no blocks intersecting it. So therefore it can utilize like V-blank stuff. Never really watched him, but I like the new game collection on Switch and PC. <laughs> I like the idea that you bought the Angry Video Game Nerd game despite the fact that you don't watch the Angry Video Game Nerd. It isn't, it isn't half bad, though. It's a little bit janky on purpose because they want it to resemble the games that he actually plays. I don't know, I can respect it. Some people ain't into that, though. Oh yeah, I just remembered the Bean 17 bomber. Well, I mean, I can't give you too much crap, man. I, I, bu I bought the DuckTales game before I had ever watched DuckTales. Sometimes a good game's just a good game. I should probably pick up the collection at some point. I, I played the first nerd game. I don't think I ever beat it, but I played it. Never picked up the sequel, though. <clears throat> and I believe they're made by an ex mfg -er. So that's neat. Stream them? My only problem with that is it feels kind of weird to stream a game based on a YouTube personality, you know what I mean? I don't- I don't know. Maybe I'm just full of it. Coming up with weird faux pas that don't actually exist. Mm. 
the, the guy who made uh, the ABGN games also made like a short little game based on the movie Manos, The Hands of Fate. Which you'll catch me quoting from time to time. Like if you, <laughs> you've probably heard me say recently that the hands of fate have doomed this man. Yeah, that's what that's from. The first one on Steam has a lot of cheap moments compared to the remaster. Uh, so they uh, tweaked, they tweaked it a bit for the for the remake, the remaster, the whatever you want to call it, the the new version. More like re-astered. Okay, we can we can we can we can game this for even more coins. Oh, if the cloud will uh, sync up with where I want him to be. Um, what was that, Windows? Windows? Windows is just like, doo doo doo. And oh god, my, my, oh, my projector is massive now. How did that happen? No. Windows, Windows is, was freaking out. It made, it made a noise. I don't like it when Windows makes noises without my consent. Oh, the Nostalgia Critic was in it, and they took him out? Uh, was it because of the change the channel stuff? Or, like, copyright? You're not sure? That's okay. I'm just wondering if you knew. Oh, this is this is a good level for coinage. You think James and Doug did a, a video recently? Oh, well, I didn't see that. I didn't know about that. Modern nerd is kind of hit and miss, unfortunately. I haven't been keeping up with him like I used to. Where Popeye kills a man, well, he's strong to the finish. Oh, that land- that landed in the bird. I feel like that should have counted. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Video games. They're like a fever dream. So you hear you hear about how video games cause violence? Well it's absolutely true. I started throwing men into birds after playing this game. And Night Trap made me a psycho killer. I was trying to remember what the name of Nintendo's president, Howard Lincoln, was. And I almost said Howard Stern, which is not correct. Ooh, special treasure room. 
can't help but notice it scrolls. Did, did they always do that? Okay, we got the the pitcher's mitt that is entirely transparent. Maybe it's made of crystal. I missed a treasure somewhere, apparently. <laughs> I hope Nintendo stops with all this recent garbage, though. Yeah, me too. Nintendo. I mean, look. I'll, I'll keep it real with you. I love most of Nintendo's games, like, output. Their creative team, fabulous. They make great stuff. The people who are in charge of Nintendo's legal and business team, though, I, I, I'm not a fan of them right now. Like, the whole thing with the Melee tournament. I mean, I heard somebody say that they had issues because they were charging admission. But, I don't know about that. That doesn't sound right. Oh yeah, <laughs> the Joy-Con drift issue. I have two sets of Joy-Cons that are drif drifting. Well, I heard it was like a lawyer's representation of what they said, but yeah. Ah oh, yeah, babe, baby. Money. The kind of thing Nintendo is getting now that they have shut down Slippy. <laughs> but yeah, point is, uh, Nintendo released a statement about it, apparently, where they said that, you know, you have to illegally pirate Nintendo games to use Slippy. That's not true. GameCube games are, like, stupidly easy to dump, you know? All you need is a Wii... ...and some kind of thing to put the game on. But the actual act of dumping it, you only need a Wii. They just, they want you to play the game their way. Also, we're back on the train. Yeah, there we go. Chunk, chunk. That's always been a thing I've noticed about Nintendo, is they... Like I said, they want you to play the game their way. They don't want to give you options, they don't want you to mod your mod their games. They don't want to, you know, do anything too wacky. In their mind, they know best, and you just are supposed to deal with that. Like, if you, if you think, oh, you know, this, this thing is not so great, I wish I could do something else. I could, you know, set it to something different. Nintendo's like, nah, nah, this is the way the game should be played. It's not like they're releasing Nintendo 64 GBA DS more like they did in the Wii U day. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. The, the how, how they've handled the, uh, you know, virtual console, Nintendo Switch Online kind of deal. I, I have been upset about that since, like, di maybe year two of the Switch. Because it's like, they're, they're bringing out new games, like molasses. Like, do you remember the Wii, the Wii Shop channel? Because that that was full of stuff. I mean, granted, the idea was new and everyone was excited about it, but there were there were games up the butt, man. They were everywhere. Like you got Turbo Graphics, you got an NES, SNES, Nintendo 64, you got Sega Genesis Master System, all that stuff. You know, but but it feels like Nintendo Switch Online is just moving at such a snail's pace. It's like they were releasing two, three games a month, and now they're not even doing that. You know they're gonna do Nintendo 64 at the very end of the console's life. There's gonna be like six games for it, and then it's gonna be abandoned. 
like the Wii U's virtual console was already a pretty big letdown. At least compared to the Wii's. I don't know. I mean, personally, you know, it could get me angrier than it does. Because, see, this this effect right here is, I think, what they were going for with the minecart. But it could get me angrier than it does because, you know, all, all that stuff. But, uh, I mean, I guess the truth of the matter is that whenever I am able, I tend to want to play these on original hardware and I have the means to do that. But, I don't know, it, it's just kind of the principle of the thing. Like, Nintendo gets all mad that you're emulating their games, but they don't give you a viable alternative. Because, I, I mean, I understand going out and getting, you know, Game Boy Player with GCHD and an HD Retrovision cable. I understand that's not the easiest thing in the world to do. You know, I just, I just do it because I'm... I'm a crazy person. Crud. But the point is, is that the the average person, you know, they don't want to do that to... They don't want to do that to play Wario Land, you know? They would just like to pop it, you know, turn on their Switch and just play some Wario Land or something, you know? Okay, boss time. We might actually be able to beat it tonight, I don't know. We'll see how things go. Oh no, here's the cloud. Store your data in the cloud. I hope Doug Bowser isn't watching right now. I would be astounded if he was. <laughs> Lord, dude, I can't even get, like, I can't even get Bill Trennan to watch. Nah, Nintendo doesn't- Nintendo doesn't approve me. They- they have just been bullied into tolerating me. Nah. We're not gonna do that. But I mean, you know, like it or not, the gaming climate has changed. And there's a lot of things that were just not heard of back then that are commonplace now. Like the whole concept of Let's Players and Streamers is something they probably could not have seen coming in the 90s. Because I mean, after all, who wants to watch some other nerd play a video game? It turns out more pe more people than one would think. But I mean, hey, why does anyone watch football? Like, just go, just go play football, forehead. Uh oh, it's Mr. Moneybags. Oh, right, right, this guy, this guy releases the bogus. I am in a pickle. Okay, that just, that just paralyzes you. I might be able to make this work.
screwed. Uh. Yeah, good. <laughs> good thing I got that OSSC. So we can <laughs> get the flicker of a flick. There we go. Wario Land is one of the only Nintendo games where there's pretty much a new villain every game, so maybe that's why Nintendo won't make a new one nowadays. I mean, uh, Captain Syrup came back for two as the villain, so, I mean, there's that. But, I mean, besides that, you're correct. Crud! Uh, Donkey Kong Country. But it did not used to be this way. The the old Donkey Kong Countries, it was pretty much... You know, it was pretty much consistently K. Rule. Okay, so the last world of the game, Syrup Castle. Oh, this music. We haven't heard this in a little bit. It's like we're returning to the basics. I'm getting tired of these spiky balls, I'll be real with you. You know, the balls of steel. might be able to, uh, you know, knock this game out tonight, I don't know. I don't know, we're pushing it. We're pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Great! What a weird game this is. How... how strange. Oh yeah, here's a, here's a fun secret for you. Where's this key go? Low. We got two more treasures left in the game. Oh yes, now we are in the castle. Nope, nope. I don't want to do that. I would like to deposit money. I cannot do a good Wario voice. Crud. Good. 
Dirk. It's cried backwards for you keeping count at home. Here we go. We are in the pirate castle. I had made all the blocks touch the ceiling. I kind of want the bull helmet, I'll be real with you. I especially want it now. That was cl that was not a, a good maneuver by Dustin. This match is just about over. Give me the hamburger. Do you think Wario would do well in Spelunky? Probably. I mean, how, how well depends on which incarnation of Wario we're talking about here. Like, if we're talking... Wario Land 2 or 3 Wario, then, yeah, there would be no stopping him. Ah, cool. I'm glad I had a cool power-up for all of five seconds. Miles, I can't believe you're saying these slanderous things. This is how you get the money. It's a bit more generous with the hitbox than I thought. Oh, 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 power! Power! Unlimited power! This is precarious. Yes, please get cut into tiny bits. What did that do? 
Oh no, it moved the screen eight pixels downward. Upward. Around. Okay, moving on. Crap, I'm trying to kill. But my murderous intent is not working. But see, that's just the thing. You know, Boulder comes out, Wario gets hit by the Boulder, he just turns into, like, flat Wario. You know, he, he touches the fire, he just gets lit ablaze, comically. Oh, upstream oh, was having a poopy, a little bit, a little tiny poopy. I might want to go back because there was a box. There was a box, a very suspicious box. That was suspicious. I'd kind of like to investigate that. Right about here. N nothing too interesting, but we didn't know that. It could have been. And Wario's pixels are really vibrating right now. Time to fly! Uh, dangerous checkpoint. You do await the Spelunky 2 streams again. Well, there should be one soon. I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it the past few days, but I, uh, I'll do one again at, at some point soon. Especially since Wario Land is going to be over real soon, and so is Mario RPG. You know, I don't want to start anything too big because I got something planned for December. Okay, now we're in the room. Okay, there's the door. There's the key, but that doesn't help me, because I need to, yeah, I need this. Unique not back sprite for this specific object. Yeah, it's always weird about the Game Boys that like look the sprites the sprites aren't quite aligned with the background. The ring At least I think that's what that is. It looks like two bananas. Two ban <laughs> like two bananas on a plate. Okay, I gotta find the L treasure, but otherwise we're good. Yeah, 
yeah, we gotta take the L. But first, we gotta figure out where it is. I maybe the only treasure in the game I'm going to look up. Because I just don't have time to comb the levels and try to remember. I just ain't got time for that. Okay, weird platforms. We are in a Mario 1 castle here. I'm... Do that kills you. Good to know. Good to be aware of that. Now let us embark with our newfound knowledge. Let us bark like a dog. Ah uh, yes, the butt combo. Descend. Yes! <laughs> That's still funny. Oh, no, no! That's not... It's not funny at all. No! <laughs> Why'd I do it? I don't know. It's a question that will boggle the ages. Boggle the mind. Boggle. Oh, I kind of glitched it there a little bit. Why do you have to hate what you don't understand? I don't hate you, Bobby. I meant Wario Land. Oh yeah, I hate Wario Land. I did it again. I did like a glitched dash attack. This guy is dead. There's been no one in history as dead as him. Because I'm glad I came in right as you do a King of the Hill impression for some reason. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the Y. Don't worry about the X either. But especially not the Y. A long hallway of ducks. Well, Jimmy, have I ever talked to you about ducks? It's a good thing I said, well, Jimmy, otherwise you would have never have known who that was supposed to be. I have, listen, I have, I have a list of talents. Impressions are not usually one of them. So I start, I start typing, Wario Land Treasure L is, is the first thing when I start typing that. Okay, so we gotta go, we gotta go back. So, where is, okay, so... We gotta go. We gotta go back to to Parsley Woods. 
Fun fact, okay. Something I forgot to mention. I think before you've drained the lake, the text down there says Prasley Woods, not Parsley. I don't know why it's like that. So wait, wait, what, what course is it? 31? So this is 30, yeah, this is 35. So five, four, three, two, oh, this is right at the start. So it's over by the ladder. Like this ladder? Is it over here? Yes it- yes it is! Oh! Oh! Because I drained the water out! I- I remember now. This- this path wasn't here before. I keep forgetting that's a thing this game does. Question is just where's the door? Like where's the door? I mean those lizards in Spelunky 2 are a heck of a thing, let me tell you. The first area was not that frustrating in the first game. I could say that much with confidence. Ah, crud. Need a better hat. Girl, dust, <laughs> girlfriend, my Dustin wants you to know that you look tiny when you're clean shaven. Yeah, but isn't that true of everybody? You gotta be a big man. I'll be a big hairy man. Like I said, personally, if it if I could manage it, I would want you know just a little bit of hair on my face. Cause yeah, I look like a little when I shave, I look like a little baby man. But the problem is, I don't want like big old itchy itch beard. But I can never manage to keep it in the middle. Okay, now not to lose this. <laughs> I s sounded like itchy bitch beard. <laughs> oh, that's right, I don't have to drop the key to do this. Okay, and now the final treasure we needed. Good lord, what is that? <laughs> it's the it's the head of Montezuma. Okay, all treasures. So I think we are now perfectly set for the technically second to best ending. I mean, the treasures just kind of get you most of the way there. Now, like I said, if you want the best, best ending, you have to max out the coin counter. But, uh, I may or may not do that. I may or may not bother. We'll, we'll see. The problem is, it would be kind of silly to stream that, wouldn't it? So I don't know if I should, like, put it as, like, a tiny addendum during another stream, or...
which times four is 128. See, see guys, I know. I'm not that stupid. You could probably stream something smaller alongside it. Hmm, like maybe, hmm, like what kind of game, hmm, like what, hmm, what kind of game, hmm. All right, last level. Uh, uh, the springs, springus madingus, whatever that means. I don't know, sometimes I just say things, I don't think about it. I'll think about what I'm saying after I'm dead. Until then, there's just no time. Yes, heart. Can, can we break 50 before this level is over? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if it's looking good. Nose is itchy. That's a terrible feeling, like, like, come on, nose. Can't you see I'm playing Nintendo? I'm kind of busy here. Reminds me when you almost got to the funny number with your lives in Kirby's Adventure. Yeah, that was a, that was a good time. I mean, it, it would have been better if we did get to it, but... But it, it had to be organic. Oh wait, I remember this. There's gonna be a feller. Yeah, unique enemy. Rest in peace, that guy. Uh. Yeah, I mean, at least I have the power of the devil. It's better than nothing. She is, and she summons a genie. Itty bitty living space. Some screen tearing. So you gotta, you gotta get the, you, you gotta get it to land right side up so it makes a cloud. Which is easier said than done. Oh, okay. No, that's alright. Unfortunately, it creates a tiny genie. Oh, which I could jump on to get up to his head. Let's see, can we get... Oh, no, not quite. Now it's Wario's turn to win. Ba -bom. Oh, that's okay. He got out okay. He got out safe. There's the statue! It's like a peach or something. What? What, what are you doing here? 
No, darkness, that's mine! See you later, Jerkwald! Mario always wins! <laughs> Even Wario sure not sure what just happened. But either way, we got an all-powerful genie. The fart lamp. Oh yeah, some good color inversion. Oh yeah, that's some good V-blanking. You get one wish. What kind of what kind of stingy genie is this? Dude, three. That's the standard. I want a castle. And the genie needs money. I mean, I guess the genie's gonna take care of construction, but still, you're aren't you supposed to be able to just kind of poof that into existence? What kind of G- This isn't even a genie, this is just a dude. This is just a dude from Arabia. <laughs> Alright, so this is- this is what the treasures do. Oh no. <laughs> Jeez, what's going on? The genie police have come to get you. Love when I beat a game and do good in it and get punished by watching math. Alright, the moment of truth. And we are home free. Where does the rest of that money go? I don't know. D down the river, down to Toity. It's the Sonic 2 8 bit tinnitus. <laughs> yeah, look, look at my fat stacks. Give me, give me my my new my new place. 
Jeg så var det. Yeah. Da 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 Okay, never mind. I thought you had to max out the coin counter. <laughs> I thought you had to max out the coin counter uh, before the treasures were counted, but I guess that's not true. So, no, I won't be doing any addendum. <laughs> this is the best ending. <laughs> Imagine playing this on a real Game Boy and it takes too long and your batteries die. <laughs> And then Wario dies because he forgot to bring a space helmet. Bloom and grow, bloom and grow. So yes, join me next time when I play the next game, Planet Wario. This game may not actually exist. Planet Wario sounds like an old fan site on Geo Cities. Katawari Damacy. Yeah, it does sound like a website on Geo Cities. God, God bless Geo Cities. Rest in peace. I mean, there is a Planet Virtual Boy website, which is topical for the next Wario Land game in the lineup. So you got Wario Land, the first one, right here. You got War Virtual Boy Wario Land, which is like the only killer app on the Virtual Boy. Then you got Wario Land 2. And then you got Wario Land 3. And then you got Wario Land, you you'll never guess, you'll never guess, 4. And then you got Wario Land Shake It. And that is the extent of the series to this point. Oh, wait, 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 not quite. Well, it's, it's more of a spin-off, but we also got Wario World. Wario's face back then was pretty different compared to his face nowadays. Yeah, I think the main thing is the mismatched eye. I kind of miss I kind of miss the mismatched eye. Wario Blast featuring Bomberman. Technically, but I just think it's funny that they were like, "God, this Bomberman game's not going to sell, but put Wario in it." And they did. I, if I recall right, and they didn't make a Wario game for the DS. Oh yeah, there's Master of Disguise. I mean, I don't know. I guess you could argue that that doesn't. They don't count as land games because land isn't in the name. But they definitely have the land DNA in them. Lord, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the fact that at my current, with my current plan, I will eventually end up streaming Master of Disguise. You counted Wario World. Well, yeah, that too. I mean, I was saying that too doesn't have uh, land in the name, but it has the, uh, you know, the Wario Land DNA. Honestly, very good game, Wario World. I, I, I really like Wario World. Uh, it, it's pretty short, but it's it's a fun experience while it's there. That that's that's true of a couple Wario games actually. <laughs> Is they're short, but they're pretty fun. Uh, it was made by Treasure, who you know some of y'all may know as the Dynamite Heady people, and they also did Mischief Makers. And the fact that a Wario game was made by Treasure is just very funny to me. That's a very funny coincidence. Gunpei Yakoi. Mischief Makers is a fucking baller. I've played it, but I haven't beaten it, and I've decided that my next attempt to beat... Oh! Yeah, I can do this, by the way. Um, my next attempt to beat it will be on stream. But I gotta get my Nintendo 64 back before that can happen. 
perfect game. So is this just a, uh, so is this one of those games where, uh, you know, it just kind of stays here forever? You know, it doesn't reset or anything? <laughs> Wario Land in a nutshell, perfect game. You know what, I felt like, uh, I felt like saving a state here. You know, just in case I want to see it again. Just in case I want to revisit Planet Wario. You know? It's like a very quiet, like, just in case I want to see Wario aimlessly wander in space and give me thumbs up. Well, sometimes I, I need that little pick me up, you know, sometimes I need to know, like, Wario, Planet Wario approves of, of my choices. Uh, anyway, I guess probably next time either Spelunky or finishing up Mario RPG. Uh, thanks for showing up, you fellers. You you good fellers. That's that's the name. Like every everybody's community has to have a name. Anybody who watches these streams is a feller. <laughs> Spelled E R. By the way. Wow, that's the wrong screen. Wow.